Well, I tell you, I don't think it's a coincidence that we've seen the the new uh, the new food truck industry blossom at, at at a time of one of the worst recessions. If you look at the history of street vending, um, it has always been a way for new immigrants and folks who don't have a lot of means to to build something for themselves and provide a means of social and economic upward mobility. At the same time, for the customers, we're offering great food um, at a great price. I own the barbecue bus with my husband, Tad. Tad's the chef. Tad's story is he grew up in his grandfather's restaurant. About his third quarter in culinary school, he and a couple friends bought this smoker. And before we had the truck, if um, you came to our house on a Saturday, we would have um, our big green egg smoker just standing around the, the smoker and eating the food off the grill. And it's, it's, it's just such a fun food. So that was, that was really the start of it. So I said, why don't we do uh, a food truck? And then the rest is history. The very first food truck, the original uh, food truck in D.C. was Fajol. And at that time, uh, the city, like they have in a lot of cities, got very, you know, what's this new thing? What's, what's these food trucks? And we actually were facing a moratorium. And there was a very brief time in the District of Columbia where all the food trucks would have been shut down. And it, it continues today. It's still, you know, the, the district is still in the process of changing vending regulations. It's a very uneasy time to try to do business when you don't know what the city's gonna ask you to do six months from now, right? And one of the greatest challenges is trying to operate and invest and grow a business in a very uncertain political and regulatory climate. You know, they license vendors, right? But they don't license the business. And so, for example, if uh, you look at some of these trucks and if the chef can't be on board that day because he has to catch up on QuickBooks or something, he has to purchase another license for his employee. And you look at some of these businesses, they'll have seven or eight vending licenses for one business. And um, in our discussions about improving vending regs, we've talked about one business, one license. Small businesses are the engines that run our nation's economy. And um, you know, I think you can't manipulate government regulations to protect one business over another because this business has been here longer. The DC Food Truck Association, we create 200 jobs. And, you know, is that going to solve the economy's problems? No, but that matters for the 200 families. So if somebody asked me I want to start a food truck, uh, I would probably tell them a couple things. One is um, check your expectations. Man, you, you never clock out, you know, but you, you can't beat being your own boss and you can't be getting up in the morning so psyched about what you're going to create and what you're going to do that day um, and, and the people you're going to touch. And so it's a lot of work, but it's absolutely worth it. For Barbecue Buzz, this is something my spouse and I opened together, and it has been an amazing experience. For opening a business and running a business is such an intense experience. There's nobody else in the world I would rather share it with.